next week's first dash for cash uh, race in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. Certainly a, one of the outstanding initiatives that uh, that series uh, sponsors. And uh, gentlemen, congratulations. We've got uh, two of them up here right now, and that's uh, Regan Smith. He's the driver of the number seven, Anderson's Pure Maple Syrup Chevrolet. Joining him right now, uh, we've got uh, uh, Darrell Wallace, Jr. He's the driver of the number six, Cheese at Ford. Here comes Daniel Suarez, the driver of the number 18, Aris Toyota. And our fourth participant will be Ty Dillon. He drives the number three, Bass Pro Shops, NWTF.org, Chevrolet. Congratulations to the four of y'all. You'll be going for $100,000 next week at the Monster Mile. Uh, let's talk about that a little bit. I know, Reagan, you've been in this uh, competition before, if I'm not mistaken. You've won it uh, maybe once before. Have you won one of the Dash for Cash? Yeah, yeah, last year. Uh, Why don't you, you know, talk about that a little bit? It's uh, obviously a great program that, that Xfinity puts on. Uh, their predecessor, Nationwide, did the same thing, um, similar format, different racetracks. So uh, it's cool to see them change the racetracks up. And, uh, you know, anytime you can give the, the guys running the series full time a little added incentive. We've already got a lot of incentive, but. Uh, you know, you throw a little extra money on the line, and, and certainly nobody uh, nobody is going to argue with that. We're all pretty happy about that. So I uh, appreciate the, the support that Xfinity's uh, given to the series coming on board this year and, and continuing program, programs like this uh, for, you know, for all of us. And I believe the other three drivers, this would be your first time in the dash for Ty Dillon. has been in that dash for cash before. He's, he's, he's waving me off. So talk about that a little bit, Ty, and then we'll hear from the, from the two rookies. Go ahead. Yeah, it's, um, it's an awesome program Xfinity put, is putting back on. Um, I think everybody in the offseason was, was real worried that they were going to, uh, that that um, series might go away. But um, I think everybody's jacked up again. And I was fortunate enough to win it last year when I won Indianapolis. And, that's right. Uh, I was it's, there for it's, that. Uh, yeah, it's a huge added bonus for uh, everybody. And uh, like Regan said, um, for us guys who run it full time and, and run it for the points all year, it's, uh, it's a really cool program and uh, proud to have our car in it. Absolutely. And, Darrell, uh, talk about uh, the opportunity to go to uh, Dover next week. A uh, short track that's, uh, you know, kind of right in your wheelhouse. And uh, maybe just talk about uh, that, the opportunity to, uh, to to participate in this program. Yeah, uh, Dover's been a uh, very successful track for me. Um, it'd be nice if they paid for the pole there. I'm pretty good at qualifying there. I uh, <laughs> hadn't got the finishes I wanted, but um, uh, excited to be in the Xfinity Series and the part of the uh, Dash for Cash Series. So glad to be one of the four. So we just got to uh, keep playing smart and, and put ourselves in that position next week to uh, come out on top. So uh, good run for us today, though. Our cheese at Ford Mustang had a little bit. Um, 33 had us all covered. Uh, we were a top three car. Just uh, need some work done. And Daniel Suarez, uh, maybe talk about uh, your opportunity uh, of uh, competing for $100,000 uh, next week in Dover for the Dash for Cash. That's great. Uh, last year I didn't have salary, <laughs> so that's that's a big change. Uh, well, obviously, we 100% new on all these, and and having a lot of fun with all these guys, uh, learning a, a lot about all these guys, about the, about the cup guys as well. And and next racetrack, Dover. Uh, I felt I felt good. I feel like uh, our best results so far are been in, in those racetracks that, that we have been before in in a different series. Uh, so looking forward for next week. Uh, obviously, uh, thank you to everyone in, in the NASCAR Xfinity Series to put all, all this program together. And, and like I said, looking forward for next week. Okay, we'll open it up for questions right now. If you have one, raise your hand. Start all the way in the back. Kyle, you've got one. We can get you the mic. Kyle Magda, Race Chase Online. Uh, for Daryl, I know um, you were running second most of the race there. I, I want to talk about that one run when you took four tires and Austin took two. Um, was your car, uh, did you burn up the tires in that run, or, or did the tires just equalize out after that After that run went through? Uh, he had us covered. He had clean air, so he was winning already. Um, I think I was, got off, started off fourth or fifth there on that run, then got up to second. Uh, if we're talking about the same run, um, I don't know what he took or when he took it, but uh, 
he just had his beat. He uh, he could get out of clean air in front of us first, and and we'd be fighting for it. So he was just uh, lacking a little bit. I talked to you earlier today about the speed of the cars today. Best career finish for you as well. Uh, what what is this doing for your confidence? You had the sixth place run at Iowa last week and a fifth today. I mean, what has this done for the sixth team uh, with the two good runs you've had? Yeah, this is good. This is a confidence booster for uh, all of my guys. We just have to. Uh, clean up ourselves on pit road. So um, that's been a struggle for us these last couple of races, but we've been able to manage a couple spots on restarts and uh, come away with our first top five of the series. So feels good to be running up with these guys. This is where we need to be. Um, you know, we're setting up ship for uh, late in the season. Thank you. Other questions? Stan, did you have one? Raise your hand, Stan, and we'll go to Chris Knight. Stan Creekmore with RPM tonight at Common. <clears throat> it's kind of really for all four of you, but from a different perspective. Reagan, in, in your case, you're a veteran going back to, to Dover, and the other three of you are a little bit more rookie-ish in, in, in going to Dover. So what do you do to prepare to put an extra $100,000 in your pocket? Well, I think from my team's standpoint, we have to work uh, you know, the same way, same way we have been every week. Um, Dover has not been a good racetrack for me since I've been at JRM. So uh, we, we highlighted that one probably five, six weeks ago as we look, you know, weeks ahead in the schedule and we talk about races and, and areas we work, need to work on. Um, we highlighted that as one that really we were going to have to put a, a extra effort into, um, mainly me in the seat. I just haven't been able to communicate what I want the car to do the way I need to, uh, you know, to the crew chiefs. So uh, we'll work hard just like we always do going there. Um, I didn't realize until uh, I, it was probably yesterday, either that or yesterday or this morning, that this was the qualifier for that and that that was the race. So I guess I need to pay a little bit better attention because uh, I, I was sitting in the driver's meeting and I tapped Jason, my crew chief, on the shoulder. I'm like, hey, you know, this is a dash for cash race, right? we got to be good today. And he's like, you just remember that? I'm like, yeah, sorry. I think um, you know, for, as far as me, I – we prepare every weekend to win the race, and uh, I think if you do that, you're going to win the dash for cash. So we won't really change much in our preparation going into this week. Um, you know, it'll be something that's in the back of your mind. You're, I'm definitely going to be paying attention to where these guys are during the race, trying to get that extra hundred grand if we're not leading. Um, but uh, other than that, we we prepare every weekend to to go out and win the race. Okay, Chris Knight, let's go. Chris Knight, Trends.com for Regan it. And Ty, the Dash for Cash has changed races. There's been a couple of changes races, Dover, Bristol, Darlington, and Indianapolis. Those are seems like tough racetracks to win $100,000. Does anybody have an advantage for those races? I'm glad they have Indy back on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, no, I think it's really cool that they've changed up the mixture of races um, and kind of spread it out throughout the year a little bit. I think it's going to um, keep everybody involved, excited throughout the year uh, for this Dash for Cash. Um, but the race tracks are awesome. You know, you got Dover, which is totally different than Darlington, which is totally different than Indianapolis. So, um, and what's the other one? And Bristol. Yeah, there you go. So, uh, probably four of the most complicated tracks that we go to all year. Um, so, I think it's going to be great. Yeah, and I'll just echo those sentiments. I think, you know, you look at the tracks that they selected, and, and obviously Xfinity was paying attention when they did that, and they said, hey, we're going to pick four really difficult tracks. Um, you know, there's there's nothing easy about any of those places. They've all got their own characteristics, and and uh, it's going to make for exciting racing for that. And and it's exciting racing anyways. You know, without that, it's it's tough racing without it. And then you put the four of us out there trying to to battle that out. It's uh, you know, it's a good mixture. I'm glad they changed it up from last year. Um, you know, I think we just need different. Xfinity is a new sponsor this year. They need to put their own spin on the series and and what they want to see and the races they want to see be. You know, be special and be important. I know Dover's real close to their home next week, so uh, you know, obviously, I'm sure they'll have a lot of folks out there to watch the race and, and be a part of it. And uh, we're going to all do the best that we can to put on a great show. Who else has a question? Anybody? Press box. Gentlemen, congrats. Whoa, before we leave, three of y'all can leave. I need uh, Bubba and Ty to go to radio. Daniel, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, 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 just explaining, uh, talking about the thrill of racing Dash for Cash in Spanish for our Hispanic audience, if you wouldn't mind. Pues bueno, eh, algo totalmente nuevo eh, para mí. Yo, yo prácticamente estoy igual que, que Regan Smith. Eh, yo hasta esta mañana eh, me enteré que esta era la carrera de la calificación. Y para ser muy honesto, yo ni siquiera sabía cómo funcionaba. Sabía que, que había un programa que, que NASCAR 
pone de, junto con, con el, el patrocinador de la serie, que en este caso es Xfinity, eh, y, y sabía que, que había un, un premio para varias carreras, pero no sabía la mecánica. Entonces, la verdad es que contento, contento de ser parte de este, de este nuevo programa, eh, de, de, de salir a, a, a tener un extra para mí y para todo el equipo. Pero creo que en general nosotros nos vamos a preparar igual que, que para cada carrera, tratar de, de ser competitivos, tratar de hacer una carrera inteligente y, y por qué no tratar de, de estar adelante por una victoria. Thank you very much, Daniel. Congratulations. Thank you.